Hi, it's Brett from Niche Laboratory here, and today I'm going to show you a case study for BlogSpy and how you can use it to improve the traffic and opportunities on your own blog. So this is a job I've done for the Niche Laboratory website. Um, this website isn't actually a blog, it's a custom built website, but you don't have to use BlogSpy with a WordPress or Blogger blog, you can use it with any site. It works slightly better if your blog or other site is using WordPress, but it doesn't have to. Anyway, what have we found here? So the first thing at the top is the Niche Insights. I borrowed this from the Niche Laboratory website and application. It gives you a kind of overview of how competitive your niche is likely to be. Um, this is a bit misleading. Keywords finder, keyword tools. Um, this isn't actually a very easy niche, but this data comes from niche laboratory jobs submitted through the website and Generally, you'll find that people don't tend to blog so much about keywords, so this isn't very high. Um, I ran a job yesterday. Um, I did a dog beds one and a cat toys one, and these niches are very popular with you blogger people. So um, if you do a search for something like cat toys, dog beds, or other products, you'll find that lots of people are blogging about those. It doesn't necessarily mean that the uh, niche is easier or harder, it's just that you have a lot more competition from your fellow bloggers. Uh, obviously, Keyword Tools is a bit different because to rank for something like Keywords Finder, it's not enough to have a blog. You need to have a keyword tool or something. So, once you run a blog spy job for a website and you also put in some keywords here i put in keywords finder then it will come up with a whole list of related blogs and you can see that the niche laboratory website here uh, your own blog will hopefully appear in the list if it doesn't you might have real problems but if it appears it will appear a uh, kind of yellow goldy color and Basically, blogs that are or should be easier to outrank will be listed green. Uh, these color, this color is this orangey color, orangey yellow. Uh, these are very similar to your own website. Uh, further down, we get the god level ones that are colored in red. Uh, these will be very difficult to outrank. We'll come to those later. Uh, how many red, yellow or green blogs you'll find in your own niche kind of depends on how well established your site is and also what the competition is like in your particular niche. I say this is quite a hard niche. I haven't made things easy for myself building a keyword tool, uh, some quite intensive competition. Um, you have to remember that the niche laboratory website must have been oh was that it must be five or six years old now so we've got quite a good page ranking but we're still a very small site compared to the other well-established sites so what can you do with this list of blogs and why is blogspy most useful uh, i think the overall thing is that it's handy to see and at a glance uh, thing of uh, where exactly your website fits in the grand scheme of things. Um, obviously, it's so easy to look for blogs. You can just go to Google and search for your keyword plus blog or something. But you never really see like which websites are highly ranked, which ones are less highly ranked. So I think this is a very useful guide. Um, remember that if you want this stats, um, on blogs by yourself you just need to sign up from free moz.com api key uh, moz is the source of this very valuable data for seeing how highly ranked each site is so if you are running blogs by yourself then i definitely recommend to get the most out of it you have to have a moz api key i say it's free it'll take you five minutes to get and you can just add it into blogs by through tools and then settings. So what have I done with this data? Uh, basically, 
I've gone through each of these sites, visited the sites and seen if I can outreach to them and get links or add comments, send them emails and generally try to publicize my own site. Obviously, it's easier to publicize your site if you've actually got a product. Um, in this case, I'm telling them about Niche Laboratory and Blog Spy and also mentioning that I have an affiliate scheme because obviously uh, they want to make money, I want to make money. Um, affiliate scheme is a good way that we can both make money. So let's have a quick run through each of these sites. So I have visited all of these websites and I made some notes. What did I do for this one? Uh, this one I don't think I did much of, not terribly memorable. Um, it's, I say it's Moz rank is quite low as page rank of below two. Uh, this one kind of annoyed me. What's this one called? Blogging Fist. Uh, uh, this one I tried comment, I tried to send them an email, but I couldn't actually cut and paste uh, content into their email form. It wouldn't allow me. Maybe it stops spammers, but it also stops them getting legitimate emails. Uh, this one, uh, I could actually send an email, but I couldn't put links in the email. It's kind of annoying if you're trying to publicize your tool and you can't actually tell them what the URL is. Uh, I think I did put a couple of comments on this site, but again, it's a real hassle. Uh, here's my website. Uh, master blogging, uh, I sent them an email about the tools. Hopefully I might get a backlink or two from this couple of hours work I did this morning. Um, I should mention that several years ago I got one single backlink on a site and I got about uh, two or three thousand visitors. In fact, for I think back in 2014, it was like the majority of my referral traffic was just from one backlink. Um, I'm not sure if um, it was a backlink from me contacting them, doing some outreach. Maybe it just appeared organically. Uh, WP Marketer Tools. Uh, this is a legitimate kind of business. They sell their own tools, so I don't think they're very interested in selling mine. Uh, they had a blog, but I couldn't really comment on it or anything. Uh, by the way, the battery here shows how relevant the blog is to your own site. I'm still testing this, but it seems to work relatively well. Uh, what's this one? Blog Press. Um, again, they have a product site. Um, I think they're kind of missing the more missed opportunity here that they have a blog, but like so many other places, they don't allow comments. Also, they don't have a comment form or email address, which is uh, pretty bad, really. Um, I say not too bothered because, again, they sell their own products, so they're probably not very interested in uh, affiliate income from promoting my products as well. Um, data for SEO, again, that's a competitor. Um, you can comment on their blog, but you need to log in first, and obviously that's too much of a hassle. Um, a take-home message from this is if ever you're doing something online, then make things easy. Uh, tricky enough, tricky enough. Uh, I put a couple of comments on their blog and I also almost uh, did email them as well. Uh, this was quite a good blog. It's like an independent blog. They don't have their own products. Um, this is definitely exactly the type of blog to be outreaching to. Also, although they're ranked higher than mine, it's not that much higher. So they're probably interested. Uh, March for Life, I don't know why this is related to abortions. This is like nothing to do with my niche. Why this has appeared, uh, anyone knows. Uh, maybe I should get some better sources of data. But uh, I have left in the irrelevant blogs in Blogspy because occasionally you can find other niches. Um, I've occasionally found some really interesting niches uh, just by sheer accident on using niche laboratory for several years. Uh, build your own blog. Uh, I sent them an email. Uh, hopefully they'll 
visit Niche Laboratory. They might even link to us. Uh, maybe they're short of ideas this week. They might even write an article about the site, which would be fantastic. Uh, begin dot, uh, this was quite a good site. I think uh, this was a blog and I think I wrote about three comments on and also emailed them. LSI Graph, this, uh, you might know this product. Um, this is an LSI keywords tool. Uh, it's a competitor of mine, um, very strong competitor, so it's not really worth uh, me doing anything. Um, I don't think they had a blog anyway. Uh, Folio Vision, again, this is a product. Um, it's not that relevant. Um, I don't even know what it does. It's, uh, not a great site to be honest. Um, niche Hacks, um, this is a very popular uh, blog about blogging. Um, the guy that owns it is quite well known. Unfortunately, it's made it quite hard to actually comment on the site and there's no feedback form. Um, they had a Facebook group, but I'm not really into social media much these days. Um, the good thing though is that I know that I've already got a organic backlink from this site so if that was one I wasn't too bothered in doing. I should also add that uh, these these are very um, high ranked high traffic sites. Uh, whatever you do with these it's worth spending more time on them because you'll get a lot more in return hopefully. Um, on the downside, they're a bit more difficult. They get lots of emails and things, so they can be very picky about who they link to, um, whatever. Um, Keyword Finder, this is another competitor of mine. Um, I didn't find many opportunities here. SERPs. Uh, uh, again, they have a blog, but you can't comment on their blog articles, which was a shame, really, because it seems a bit pointless having a blog. Um, the more people that blog, uh, comment on your blogs, then you'll get extra keywords and ideas. So I would say always, always, always allow people to comment on your blog articles and don't like close the blog comments after a year or two either. Uh, host review. Uh, this is a big like kind of hosting community type thing. I say it's not that relevant. Also, you have to log in and make an account and everything. Um, they only cover hosting and servers really, so I don't think they'll really be that interested in uh, my products. Um, I'll cover Income Diary and Shout Me Loud together. Uh, these are both very big blogs. Uh, they have thousands, tens of thousands of uh, inbound links. Um, look at uh, the Moz rank of Shout Me Loud is like nearly seven. Um, these are gigantic sites. Um, I think that I will do guest posts on these sites, but they have to be absolutely killer posts. And I have to really think about what I'm going to write for them. Um, I think they are definitely open to having some good content submitted to this site, but the emphasis there is has to be very good content indeed. Um, on the plus side, I think uh, Shout Me Loud, so they have like over 10,000 subscribers in their email list. Maybe the same on Income Diary too. Uh, so if I get posted on this, then my traffic should soar. So. As I say, if you are doing your own uh, research into outreaching, then when you use Blogspy, all these ones here, um, it's worth spending at least a day on each uh, outreach for such a major site like these. Uh, finally, we have, we, have, uh, we have Keyword Tool IO and WordStream. Again, these are two products. Uh, WordStream, you can comment on their blog posts, but it's not very easy. Um, what was the other one? Keyword Tool IO. Um, again, that's like a com direct competitor of mine. Um, couldn't really find anywhere to comment, and it's not really worth reaching out. So, anyway, this is a kind of first case study on Blogspy. Um, I will post some updates once I know if I've had any success from this initial campaign. Um, I 
do have another niche site that I'm about to run another job for. Um, this other niche, I think um, I will kind of do more articles. Um, the other thing you can do with blogs by that I haven't mentioned here is that you can see these websites and see what they're writing about. Um, but for blogs by a niche laboratory, um, this job, I really just want to do some outreach because although I think Blogspy and Niche Laboratory are really nice tools. I've had some great feedback, but I don't get that many visits. Um, I need to uh, do a lot more marketing rather than uh, continual development of the tools. I do need to focus now on marketing. So anyway, I hope you like this. Uh, remember to download Blogspy. Uh, you can download it for free and try it out. And you can buy a special bundle, uh, bundle of Blogspy and Niche Laboratory. I'll give away uh, both for a very low price. Thanks for watching.